I just want to be known as a very normal person and be treated as that and be able to walk down the street like anyone else. Once something is a passion, the motivation is there. The more precisely I can drive, the more I enjoy myself. When you are part of a community for 14 years, it inevitably shapes you. I will always have a part of Ferrari beside me, a part of my heart will always be red. I like to share my life, and spend time with someone I love. That has worked 100% with my wife. I like working in a team, and at Ferrari there is always good cooperation. In sport, there is never any moment that is the same as the other. Your ups and downs in sports, I think they are as normal as daily life. One day you wake up and feel great. The next day you wake up and feel maybe less great. If you do things to the limit, and don't purposely go over that limit, then I think it's fine to do whatever you want. So long as you enjoy it. That's what's important. Somehow I have managed to delay looking old. In reality I have good genes. I hate to take compromises with a racing car. The more standard a car is the more compromises you have to take. I retired simply because I didn't have the passion and motivation anymore. I was tired. At the time I thought, well, I had a great time, there is the end. At some moment, there is the right time to call it an end. When you start out in a team, you have to get the teamwork going and then you get something back. I have to say it's been tough to leave the Ferrari family which has been a big part of my career. I have been a huge fan of America, as I find their way of life there is pretty unique, and I have enjoyed a lot of good times over there.